Hello, Mariah. Hello, Theo. I think I have toothpaste on my mouth. So, this one is for little, little ones. Um, but, of course, all you other, you know, big kids can enjoy this, too. It's cute. So, um, first let me apologize for my fashion faux pas, I think it's called. Yeah, my mom told me never wear, um, stripes with print, but, you know, just not doing as much laundry lately. <laughs> so, um, let me just say that this is a story called Cry Baby Calf. So... Before I read it, I just want to let you know that, you know, all through our lives we have tears, right? Sometimes we just cry. I just shed some tears this morning because I'm really missing holding my grandbabies a lot. But I remembered, I think it's somewhere in Psalm 56, um, that God keeps track of our tears. He puts them in a bottle. Isn't that cool? Must be a really big bottle, or maybe just a lot of bottles, one for each person. Um, and then I think in the King James Version, somewhere, I don't know which version, it says that he keeps some, keeps track of them on a scroll. So, um, yeah, it also in that psalm talks a lot about how King David knew he needed to trust God in all things, no matter what happened. So again, this story is from farm animals, and like I said in the story before, I think it belongs to this little lady. That's my youngest daughter several years ago. <laughs> yeah. So it's called Cry Baby Calf. It's a fun story. Hiram, that's the guy's name, the farmer, was cheerful. Even when a bee stung him. Look at that bump on his forehead. That bee. Whoa. Stung him on his forehead. You see? Yeah. Some of you might be allergic to bees. And some of you might really feel like running away from bees. But I have learned from having a garden that if you just stand still... And thank them for pollinating your plants and flowers. They won't hurt you. But if you're allergic, you might want to go inside. All right. Continuing with the story. Um, Martha, his wife. Martha would be Hiram's wife. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that name right. Was cheerful. Even when she slipped and fell into a pond. Jerry, the horse, was cheerful, even when he caught his tail in the door. I know a little boy who got his finger smashed in a car door one time. And after he wailed really loud, he was pretty cheerful. He, um, not too close, aren't it? Yeah, he was okay. He just kind of went on about his day. You know who that little boy is, right? <laughs> All right. Oh, and the pigs. Oink, oink, oink. They were cheerful, except when their dinner was late. But the crybaby calf was never cheerful. He cried almost all the time. You know what his problem was? It's the pigs. And he just happy eating. And there's the crybaby calf. Yeah. And look, there's some little cute daisies there. And she doesn't even... Or he. He's a boy. He, she, um... Doesn't even notice the flowers. Yeah, but everyone cries. It's okay. It's good to just let those tears out. And then, you know, go on about your day. So, in the summer, he cried because it was hot. And in the winter, he cried because it was cold. There he is. 
Ooh, guess the daisies are a little bit hot too, huh? Yeah. It just got a little flame in the mouth. I didn't even see that before. Hmm. The nice, uh, the reason I thought Crybaby Calf was a girl all these years is because of his long eyelashes. <laughs> Guess I wasn't reading it too carefully when I was a young mom. One day, he cried so much that a pool of tears formed around him. Hmm. It was so cold. Brr. That's why I wore the scarf. Brr. And also, it's still kind of cold. It was so cold. Mariah and Theo and anybody else. That the tears froze. And the crybaby calf was stuck fast to the ground. Oh my goodness. Now we got a conflict. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Look at that. Yeah. The pigs are like, dude, you are stuck. <laughs> I have to wonder if anybody out there in YouTube land has a pet pig. I think they're so funny. Hiram, the farmer, tried to chop him free with a hatchet. Hmm. Martha, his wife, tried to melt him loose with a kettle of warm water. I've tried that one before on my car windshield. There's my sound effect chair making its little squeaks. Guess I'm gonna have to find a stool to sit on. Jerry the horse and Hiram the farmer pulled at the calf until they had to stop because it hurt. And that made the calf cry even more. Oh my goodness. Hear that? I'll do it again. Yeah, that's my chair, huh? <laughs> no, I'm telling the truth, it really is. <laughs> But, when Hiram the farmer and Martha his wife got down on their knees and tried to melt the ice by blowing on it, they looked so funny. Got down on their knees and then they tried to blow on it. Oh. Sorry. See? Okay. It says they look so funny <laughs> that the crybaby calf stopped crying and laughed. <laughs> he laughed so hard that he burst the ice all around him into little bits. Then he jumped up on his feet and pranced away. And after that, the crybaby calf was, guess what? It says he was cheerful. Huh. What do you know about that? Huh. He didn't cry when it was hot anymore. He didn't cry when it was cold. Hmm. But, but, for a long time afterward, he always cried when he sat down. Mm -hmm. Great. There's the last page. Yeah. Oh. Poor little calf. I imagine by now 